Ratios. It's probably been a while since you've learned about them, but you, and your kids, run into them a lot in everyday life. In sixth grade math, they'll gain a deep understanding of ratios and learn to talk about exactly what a ratio means. Cooper counted 24 adults and 30 children. What is the ratio of children to the total of people at the Science Museum? The answer would be 30 to 54, but if you need to simplify, so you simplify, 30 divided by 6, so the answer would be 5 children for every 9 people total. A key concept of ratios is the meaning of the phrase, for every. Your sixth graders should know what this means and be able to talk about it. Let's say on a different day that there is a ratio of two children to five total people. So if there's that ratio, well, what would that mean? That would mean that a different day there would be two, two regular kids for every five people that come to the Science Museum. And um, would there only be five people at the museum? Or no. Or could there be more? There could be more, as long as it follows the rule. Of you can tell that Eric understands the meaning of the ratio because he can talk about the numbers in context. So how do you know if your sixth grader really gets ratios? By the end of the year, sixth graders understand that a ratio is a way of expressing a relationship between numbers and can talk about the meaning of ratios in context.